All right, my presentation tonight is about Eagle Scout Council shoulder patches. And I'm gonna talk about every single patch that you see in front of you tonight. So we're gonna be here for probably three or four hours. No, I'm kidding. We, have, we honored our Eagle Scouts for the past 16 years. So we have 16 patches for me to go over. But I thought I would give a little bit of history first. We we have an, a NISA committee in our council, like most of your council should have. And our NISA committees, their goal is to honor our Eagle Scouts. And one of the ways that we decided to honor our Eagle Scouts is annually design a CSP to give each Eagle Scout that year. And they've become great collector's items over the years. First, I want to give a little history about CSPs, because if you didn't know this, CSPs didn't start till about halfway through BSA's existence. All right, before CSPs, most Scouts wore two patches with the name of their community and state called community and state strips. They were usually the, the red with white lettering and white, white borders. As you see here in the San Mateo, uh, California community strip and the California state strip. And a lot of councils got started with just putting their council and the state because there were a lot of communities in the same council and there were uh, scout leaders that helped out the entire council. So they came up with council strips. And then eventually they got around to making the colorful. So this, this shows the evolution going from community strips to council strips to what we now call the CSP, Council Shoulder Patch. In 1970, Boy Scout Council started issuing what we now call CSPs or council strips. In 1970, a letter was sent to every council. Stapled to the letter were three CSPs that come to be known as the National Sample Set. So you see here the Circle 10 Council, the Columbiana Johnny Appleseed Council in Ohio, and the Paul Bunyan Council in Michigan. So they gave the councils permission to show off things about their council, like the Longhorn and Johnny Appleseed as a little cartoon in Ohio. And uh, of course, everybody knows Paul Bunyan with the big axe. So they charged all the councils to get started and come up with their design. By the 1973 Jamboree at Moraine State Park in Pennsylvania, this was the first Jamboree that I attended as a youth, CSP collecting had become well established. Every Scout Council issued one or more CSPs for us to wear on our left shoulder. And quite often, most of them contain images that tell us something about the council. So I have here an example of the Okanichi Council, which has the state of North Carolina, the map on it. And you can see in the middle of the state, the little boundaries of where the Okanichi Council is located in the Raleigh area. They also put the state bird, which is the, the cardinal, the state mammal, which is the gray squirrel, state flower, which is the dogwood flower, and the state tree, the long needle pine. And you see back in the background, the sun sets over Western North Carolina, the best part of that state. If you notice the uh, Florida Lee and all of these, BSA made a requirement that each patch was required to have uh, the symbol of the Florida Lee or the lettering BSA in their new council strips that they uh, charged them all to create. This is our Asheville community strip with the North Carolina strip on it at, that I was able to get an old uniform from back in the 50s. This is our regular council strip, Danny Boone Council, and we put the BSA symbol on it rather than the Florida Lee, and it has the Kentucky Law rifle from Daniel Boone. And the lower one is our uh, Sea Scout council strip, which is kind of cool for the Sea Scouts to be able to wear, which matches their uh, dress blue uniforms. And the reason for my presentation tonight is to show off our 16 council strips that CSPs that honor our Eagle Scouts. We started back in 2006 and this is the plaque that hangs in our council office. And the plaque is twofold. For one, it shows off our annual council strip of each of our, our years for honoring the Eagle Scouts. And it shows off the winner of the Eagle Project of the Year Award that started back then. And I've been a judge and been the head judge for most every year. 
for Eagle Project of the Year. The Eagle Project of the Year is named after Glenn and Melinda Adams, and it's a, a national award that each council is eligible to bestow, and um, it goes on to national competition. And there's the evaluation criteria that the judges go by to come up with the best Eagle Project each year. And there's the pin. One scout from every council is eligible to get that every year. And that pin can be worn on the Eagle alongside their Eagle Palms. And in 2020, this is the Eagle recipient of the Eagle Project of the Year. We actually had our Gathering of Eagles banquet online Line. And here is our recipient receiving his uh, award at the council office. All right. The first year that we had our Eagle Scout honoring patch, you see up in the right corner, I put our regular patch so you can match it up and see how we designed it. We just made a black background and put our Kentucky long rifle on and put an Eagle pin right in the middle. And we decided to put gathering of Eagles on every patch because that's when we were going to give out this patch at our annual Gathering of the Eagles banquet. And you see our first year, the winner of the Eagle Project was Blake Dublin from Troop 601. And he did his Eagle Project at DuPont State Forest in 2005. Our second year of honoring Eagles with the patch is this patch with the Eagle patch flying through our galaxy among the stars. And if you notice, we decided to flip the Danny Boone Council name and gathering Eagles and put gathering of Eagles across the top. So our patch would be more of a trading item and not an actual shoulder strip to be worn. And Nathan Hutchins won that year from Troop 3. And at his Methodist church, he built a humongous picnic pavilion and won the Eagle Project of the Year that year. Our third year in honoring our Eagles, this design was, was made. You see the Gathering of Eagles is still across the top with Danny Boom Council. And if you, most of you probably know uh, this young man's father, Hank Birdsong, but Benjamin won by doing a project at Living Waters Retreat in 2007. Well, by the third year, these patches became very, very popular. We always, we made the decision to always hold back at least 50 for at least 10 years, 10 or 15 years down the road to be able to sell them as sets. Well, by 2018, all of this 2008 patch were all gone. I decided to make another run and order another hundred. Well, here is the original, and this is the, the second run, and I decided to flip the Danny Boone Council and the Gathering of Eagles name at the bottom. So scouts that got it originally in 2008 can um, to, can prove that they got it the original year. And then collectors are getting the one in the later years with it being flipped. So you can tell the difference between the two. Our fourth year was a big year because our council sent a huge contingent to Philmont. So we decided to put the Rocky Mountains design in the background. And so 2009 Gathering of Eagles um, was a, a special one for all the Eagle Scouts that came to the banquet and also went to Philmont. And Jonathan Anderson won uh, doing an Eagle Project for his church in 2008. The fifth year honoring our Eagle Scouts was in 2010. And this was a year we asked all the Eagle Scouts to bring their mentor to the Eagle Banquet. And each Eagle Scout stood up and introduced their mentor to the audience at the banquet. And so we decided to put a big eagle and a little eagle in the picture to kind of indicate that a mentor is, is always there to help the younger eagles along. And John Morris won this year from Troop 53, did a great project at the Veterans Restoration Quarters. And we put uh, a couple of teepees off on the left side over the horizon. This was a fun patch. I traded for a patch with this same eagle design at the 2010 Jamboree, brought it back and decided to have it for our 2011 Gathering of Eagles. And I added a, an eagle pin to it and a big mountain in the background. And I was excited because we put the uh, the eagle wings beyond the, the border of the patch. This is the first time that we went beyond the borders. And if you happen to notice on the right side, there's a name that matches mine. That's because that's my son, Cameron. He won the Eagle Project of the Year Award. And this was the year that I did not judge 
the Eagle Projects of the Year. I had to step down because my son was nominated, but he did a project for the Progressive Education Program, and he did a putt-putt course, and this is a special needs school, and they still use that course today. Well, the seventh year that we honored Eagle Scout happened to be the 100th anniversary of the Eagle Scouts, so the 2012 Gathering of Eagles. We decided to put the name of the first Eagle Scout in America and the first Eagle Scout of the Danny Boone Council. So William Leon from 1924 and Arthur Eldridge from 1912. And they said that I had to get permission in order to put their names on here from their family. So I was able to find Arthur Eldridge's grandson in Princeton, New Jersey, and was able to get an email back from him giving us permission to put his grandfather's name on our patch and did the same thing with uh, William Elon's family. But I thought this was a, a neat patch to be able to honor the, the two first Eagle Scouts from the country and from our council. And uh, Ian Morris won this year doing a, a great project at Mountaintop Experience. The eighth year, we still put Gathering of Eagles across the top and have an, an eagle head with a flag. And Michael Williams won the award doing a, a big project at the 4-H camp. And the ninth year, we have an eagle head again, but we have a, uh, an eagle in flight on the left side. Still gathering of eagles across the top and the eagle uh, patch there in the middle. Hunter Stanley won by doing a, a huge uh, scoreboard for his school's sports field at his summit charter school. All right, this year we actually flipped and put Daniel Boone Council across the top and gathering of eagles at the bottom. And we actually had this gathering of eagles the weekend of Mother's Day. And we had corsages for all the Eagle Scout mothers that came to the banquet. And we decided to put Norman Rockwell's famous painting of a mother pinning an eagle on her son for this year's honoring of our Eagle Scouts. And Jonathan Kane won this year doing his eagle project at his synagogue. The 11th year, we have an eagle soaring over the mountains. And Lucas uh, Moffat did a project at an autistic group home in which his uncle actually lives in. And it was, a, it was a great project. This is one of my favorite patches. The 12th year, the 2017, shows an eagle. And this is the last thing a trout sees as an eagle dips down into the lake and grabs them. And we put the eagle pin on one side and the Florida de Lee on the other side to balance it out. And we went back with gathering of eagles across the top. And Eric Cox won uh, Eagle Project of the Year, uh, doing an Eagle Project for his church. And the 13th year, we went back to inviting the mentors because that was a, a great thing that we did uh, earlier on. And so this is a, a cartoon eagle actually giving a mentor pin to another eagle or a mentor. The mentors don't have to be eagles, but we thought this was a, a kind of neat patch to show the mentor pin being given out. And so this was the 2018 Gathering Eagles Banquet. Hudson Cobb won this year at the Lord's Acre doing a, a really neat little hobbit hutch for that group. Our 14th year, I wanted to honor the gentleman that brought a live eagle for about a half dozen years to our eagle banquet. He would bring it at the start of the banquet and uh, let each scout hold it and have his picture made with it. And then he would actually leave uh, about the time we started serving food. But it was it was really neat to have an actual live eagle brought to our eagle banquet for our uh, 100 or so eagles that come to it. And uh, he didn't want to have his likeness on here, but I, I talked him into at least having a silhouette. He wanted to honor his organization, Balsam Mountain Trust. So we put that in the middle for him. This is really to honor him for bringing his eagle so many years to our eagle banquet. And Zachary Moss won Eagle Project of the Year doing his project at the Kuntz Intermediate School. Our 15th year, you notice we have Daniel Boone across the top again, and that's because this is our 100th anniversary. Our logo is right in the middle, 1920 to 2020, and uh, it's got a, an eagle in flight, still have gathering of eagles, even though we had it virtually. And this is the first year we've ever put the NISA logo on our patch. So there's the, the NISA logo. And uh, quite a few people actually have this as their shoulder patch on their uniform. And this is this year, 2021, our 16th year of honoring our class of Eagles. 
and we actually have an Eagle class honoree that's honored every year. And this year, the honoree has been in charge of the snowshoe event for probably two decades now. So he was surprised with being honored of having the patch designed with the logo of the snowshoes crossing and of course a snow scene with an eagle sitting in it. So this is our year through 2021 and I'm looking forward to 2022. Next year, I'm trying to uh, get them to approve a patch that has a female Eagle Scout because be our first year honoring females as Eagle Scouts. And Colin Wyatt won this year doing an Eagle project for Montford Park players. Well, most councils do have at least one patch honoring Eagle Scouts. The Palmetto Council has this nice patch that they have stacks and stacks of them and they give them out to Eagle Scouts. And the Yucca Council has this nice one where eagles soar, uh, which is really cool where the uh, wings of the eagle goes beyond the, the border of the patch. And I even included the Okanichi Council patch um, that's given out to all the Eagle Scouts each year. And the Mason-Dixon Council, this patch for the 100th anniversary of scouting in 2010. The left side, you can see Baltimore Area Council, Orange County. They actually put Eagle Scout alumni on their patch. And the North Florida Council, Hoosier Trails, Baden Powell Council, and Buffalo Trace Council all honor Eagle Scouts with this patch every year. Same patch. Middle Tennessee, there, there you go. There's their Eagle patch. And uh, Dan Beard Council, and the Buckeye Council. On the right, I found that the Colonial Council actually does one every year. Here is their 2015 and their 2016 Eagle Patch. So they do change. And the Old North State honored their Eagles in 2010 with this big Eagle in flight. I found that the Crossroads of America Council does a patch every year also, but they don't put the year on it. You just have to know which year is which patch. But I think it's still a good idea that they change the patch every year. And the upper one on the right is one of my favorite. I traded this one with um, with Jason Spangler, and it's a 2008-year patch for their council. And here's a Pacific Harbors Council. And then once an eagle, always an eagle is a great mantra to have. And they put it on their patch. This is my last slide to show that CSPs aren't only councils, but NISA has made several CSPs and they have these for sale, of course, to help pay for their scholarships. They do scholarships annually, thousands and thousands of dollars to uh, deserving Eagle Scouts to help pay for their college. So I wanted to end by saying we need to honor our council's Eagle Scouts every year by commemorating a special patch and a CFP can be the very special patch that we can give to our Eagle Scouts annually. How many Eagles are presented each year in your council, roughly? Uh, we average about 100. Sometimes it's about a dozen over or a dozen under. Of course, last year was very low everywhere. Right. Um, I think we had maybe 75 Eagles. Now, at the, at the banquet, the patch is eligible to, for all Eagle Scouts. If, if you were an Eagle in, in the 50s or 60s or 70s and come to the Gathering of Eagles, you get the patch. After the banquet, they're bought, they're paid for. <laughs>